Hello YouTube, continuing the ratchet, ratchet wrench series. Moving up the food chain, I guess, I don't know. Uh, these are made by SK. They uh, got six paw design. Two tooth are engaged at all times. 216 positions, not teeth positions. They were $240 on Amazon, seven piece set, SAE. The model number is 800. Four nine. SK is in the house. Now you're at, you're asking, well, why didn't I buy the metric set? Which is what I usually do because the metric set was uh, $400 for a 12-piece set. You're starting to get up there around where the uh, the tool trucks, you know, you're getting up there in price. You start getting four or five dollar range, you're up there. So I opted to do that. I wanted to find out what they were about, and I'm glad I, I didn't buy them. I'm not here to bash SK, but uh, I'll tell you a few things I do I don't like. First of all, um, I bought this seven-piece set and it said "Made USA" on the box, and then I get it, and two of them, the the uh, nine-sixteenths and the seven-sixteenths were made in Taiwan, or not? Excuse me, not Taiwan, China. I wasn't happy about that, so I was going to return them. And it, I, they were, Amazon was going to take it back, no questions asked. You had a 30-day window there. I didn't have to go through SK, but I, I, I opted to take the $100. They gave me $100 credit for the two wrenches that weren't made in USA, and I took that route. So I basically got to set for $140. I said, I can live with that. So that's what I did, and I was able to keep the other two wrenches. So that wasn't too bad. That being said, let's pull off the... Uh, Three quarter. They got a they got a one one point seven degree arc swing, which is the lowest in the industry because of that two hundred sixteen positions. Uh, let's see, seven piece set that comes with that tray. Tray's pretty nice. Let's look at the chrome on there. The chrome is pretty good. I've been using these, and I got mixed feelings about these. I, I really really do. Um, I don't know if you can see it. They are stamped. The markings, SK, the size is stamped. You got one right there, three quarters, and on the back side, that's the individual number. Very unique design with that with that X frame. There's no offset and there's no reverse lever, which I usually prefer in a wrench. Um, they're pretty heavy. They're bulky. I put it next to a Blackhawk. They're definitely a longer pattern, which is good if you like longer wrenches next to a Blackhawk. I always compare it to Blackhawk because Blackhawk is some, some of my best, and I've used them for many, many years and love them. I'll get to those eventually. But um, So they are longer. Let's put a fastener on here. Let's see what we got here. 200, yeah, 216 degrees uh, of positions, 216. Not a lot of play in the mechanism. Pretty fine, I don't know if you can hear that. They fit the fastener, fastener pretty good because they are a six-point box. I think you need both, uh, both six-point and 12-point. This one's not bad. I have any problems with this one. You can hear it. I'm not going to put a I'm not going to put a, a caliper on it because it's got the uh, anti-slip grooves, so you got like steps in there. So you're not going to get a true reading to compare it next to the Blackhawk, which I usually do. Play is probably I don't know I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's the best I've seen, but it's pretty good. What I don't like about them, well, this one here, the other thing is this, they're, they're bulky. If you're looking at the, uh, the head, the heads are bulky, really bulky. And they are a little thicker than the Blackhawks. Um, overall, I don't, I don't think they're a bad wrench, but they're pricey, guys. And... Being a two were made in uh, China, I don't, I don't know. And they tell you USA, 
I can't recommend them. Um, I'll probably get some hate mail for that, but try to give an honest review. Let's go down to the half inch. This one's made in USA. Like I said, uh, five are made in USA, two weren't, but they gave me a hard hour credit. ID stampings are good. They're, they're stamped instead of a laser etch, which I always liked. This is a half inch. Fit, finish and feel. I don't know. The beam is the beam is thick on these two. Let's put it next to a half inch uh, Blackhawk. The beams are really really thick. You got big hands, you might not mind that. I don't like the feel of that myself. Um, like I said, the heads are a little bit uh, the heads are a little bit chunky. Can you pick that up in a, in a camera or not? They're a little bit chunky. Can you see it? You can see it good there. They're chunky. That could be an issue in tight spots. Let's put let's put the uh, half inch on. Six point box, no offset, no reverse lever. Very little playing of mechanism. This one's got a lot of back drag, and I've used this one. I've been using this one, and it's got a lot of back drag. Even though it's got a lot of positions. It's got a lot of a lot of back drag, which I don't like in a ratchet wrench. Let's go to the open end part, which you should use to break loose the fastener first, as we all know. Doesn't mean we do it. It's pretty secure, pretty tight, not bad. I had a couple of these stick stick on me, so I don't know. I'm not going to recommend them. No, I can tell you, I won't recommend these because. Uh, out of the gate with the two made in China. I didn't like that. Here's the 11 sixteenths. This one sticks. Can you hear it? I don't know if you can pick it up. This one does not sound good. I was, you know, overall, I don't know. I just can't, I can't recommend these. Not for that price range. Right there, it's sticking. Look at it. And then it broke loose. Oh, now, I can, now it's locked up. I'm not making this up, guys. There, there it goes. Yeah, that one sticks. So that's a bust on that one. I don't know. You're a high-end uh, ratchet wrench that, uh, that didn't do it for me. That's all I can tell you. I will not buy the metric ones. This is the... Uh, 916s, this one's made in China. This one's not sticking. I don't know, it just, it's a pretty cool looking design with the X Factor, but I, 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 I'm not gonna buy the metric set, no way. Not for $400. I didn't have good luck with these, you know, and how many of those are made in, China, you know, so you guys can do what you want, but um, there should be a high-end ratchet, but I see issues with these. I mean, that that, that new design is, uh, I'd say they're having problems with it. Let's try the little, the 3.8s. Well, the 3.8 seems okay. Just that one wrench, wow, that one wrench was choppy as hell. I try to give an honest review here. And this one's made, this one was made in USA too. See it? This one sticks. Can you hear it? Wow. Both ways stick. They're right there. Okay, I can't even move it. Here it goes. Yeah, I, I wasn't happy with these. Uh, that's just my thoughts, guys about buying them I, I love the concept I love uh, the, the, the frames look pretty cool the chrome's nice but uh, I've had good luck with them from the get-go just my opinion um, trying to put out good information here guys uh, I, won't, I won't be buying any of their any SK ratchet I won't buy the metric set no way not for $400 now when I had a problem with this set so 
Let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment below. And I'll always get back to you. And uh, thanks for everybody that has supported the channel. I got, I think, three more sets coming. In the finale, I'm going to... I'm going to give away, when I hit 1,000 subscribers, one of the prizes is going to be a, a brand new set of high-end ratchet wrenches that I own. I own a set, but I'm going to buy another new set to give away. Okay, guys, just my thoughts. Uh, I, I wasn't happy with this purchase. Okay, guys, stay tuned.